you're going to have to mount it. So I had a little bit of difficulties at first figuring it out, but once I did, it's pretty simple. This top part right here unscrews, and then I held the bottom piece in place with my hand, and it just comes off right like that. Make sure that you're not really turning uh, the camera. And once that's off, you can pull everything apart. And there you go, there's four pieces. Now, I'm going to take this off of here. And you can see that there are four screw holes on here. These are the holes that you're going to use to actually mount the bracket. But before mounting the bracket, you're going to make sure that the wire is through, because you can't get it through after the fact. Put it flush on the surface you want to mount it to, and then put your, your screws in. And then take the camera mount, place it over the camera, and then we're going to grab the threaded part and put that on top. And screw it all back together once it's mounted, and you're set to go. So it comes with software. It's called CMS. It's not my favorite software, so I'm not currently using that for my actual use. But I'll show you around it a little bit. We can connect to the camera. It shows the camera on there. Um, we have the camera controls. We have color controls. Uh, playback controls and uh, system controls where we can control the remote settings that is the settings that the camera has on it but really none of the settings you're going to need to change so it's not really a necessity but you can see the settings on there one that there is is up update or upgrade uh, but you really probably will never need to use that The software that I am currently using and I enjoy is called iSpy, and I'll show you how to set this one up. So once it loads, you're going to close that and select Add in IP Camera with Wizard, and then enter the camera Make, which is ELP four one zero zero VR. The username is Admin. And then enter your camera's IP address. I found mine with the app called Fing. And the port number is going to be 554. It's going to search for URLs and select the first one or the bolded one. And you'll see that the camera image pops up. You can rename your camera to like your camera or whatever and all the other settings are already set up we can select next you have motion detection you can set up a small region like this or you can just select the whole thing and it will detect in that area and you can set it up to send you alerts emails whatever i'm not going to show you how to do that it's pretty self-explanatory um you also have recording controls i'm just going to turn mine off right now because i don't need it currently uh, images, you can have it save images or alert you. Uh, you can use FT FTP to upload images or video. And then you have cloud storage, scheduling, storage, and all that stuff. And there you go, that's how you do it. It's pretty simple. Um, overall, this camera is a good camera. It suits its purpose, it's waterproof, which is really great, so it can be outside. And at night, as you can see here, it has infrared night vision mode, which can be really useful for uh, security purposes. Currently, I just have mine sitting inside on my TV stand, but I do plan to put it outside in the future. If you like this video, 